Welcome back guys, this is your boy Cat Loco, and today I'm going to show you how to build your own wire bench harness for your LS swap. You don't want to miss this one. Okay, so you're going to need a few tools um, to get this done. Uh, number one, you're going to need some wire strippers. Um, whatever you have, you can use a razor blade if you want to, but I prefer using some type of wire stripper. You're going to need some type of soldering iron. Um, it can be cordless, it can be the corded version. I don't care, whatever you have. You're going to need a soldering iron. Please don't use electrical tape. You want to use um, some shrink wrap. So, this is a shrink tube. You can get it from Harbor Freight. I got this off Amazon. You want to use shrink wrap. Then, you're also going to need some type of uh, small flathead screwdriver or I actually use like a little pick also from Harbor Freight something to get the pins out of your uh, PCM connector well leads me on to the next item your actual PCM connector the blue connector um, red isn't useful you need the blue one so I went to the junkyard in my last video and picked up a blue connector um, that's where you saw the little hint last time then I also picked up a OBD2 connector. This one's uh, has a little broken clip, but all we care about is this connector. So you're gonna need these two to build this harness. And uh, lastly, you can get fancy and you can use like a um, conduit box and get some switches. Like some people use the illuminated rocker switch or the toggle switch for your power on and your ignition switch or you can just use one uh, power switch. But for me, I actually went a little different route. Um, on Amazon, from a company called STL, I got this light switch box. And the reason I like this, I'm only gonna use two of these, um, just A and B, they're labeled on here. You can see that. So I'm gonna have one to my power, and then one to my ignition. And the good thing about that, about this is it actually has a fuse, has a 20 amp fuse, so you won't fry your PCM trying to do this. So the most important item um, that you're going to need is a power supply. You're going to need a 12 volt, 1 milliamp power supply. So with this, I also bought this on Amazon. This is your uh, power plug, and then you have your male connection. Most people find like a um, power cable laying around the house and they just cut it and then they splice into the harness but I want to do a little differently just because I have this nice light box that already provides me with my negative and positive uh, wires out so what I did was, was I bought a box of paytails you have your male and female connections so basically what that's gonna do is say I have my negative and positive connection I take my pigtail, match red to red, black to black, put my shrink wrap over it, strip it, solder my connections together. And then I have my pigtail coming from my light box. And then the female end from my light box goes into my power supply. And that's just a real clean look. So let's actually talk about wiring your uh, PCM to your power. So, in my last video, I pulled the uh, PCM from uh, 5.3 out in the yard. When you get the harness, it's going to have all these wires attached to it. So, once you're done using your, your screwdriver or your pick um, to take all the uh, pins out, you're going to be left with these uh, set of wires. You're basically going to have two orange wires, two pink wires, a green wire and then you're gonna have two black uh, ground wires and for the pink wires you should have left over pin 75 and 19 of your pink wires your uh, pink wires is are gonna be your ignition wires um, or your switch power so basically for me the uh, pink wires I'm gonna put on switch B for my ignition 
And then on the uh, orange wires is going to be pin 20 and 57. I don't know if you can really see that. But pin 57 and 20, that's your battery PCM. That's going to be your constant power. Um, this will go to my A slot of my power. And then you have uh, Eases is a uh, pin 40 and pin number one. Those will be your ground wires. So I showed you the orange, I showed you the pink, and the only uh, wire left is a uh, pin 58, which will be a green wire. And the green wire, this goes to your OBD2. into your purple wire of your OBD2 uh, plug. So these two wires you're going to need to get your uh, heat shrink, use your wire stripper, connect the wires, solder them, and green goes to the purple from your OBD2 into your PCM. Your orange from your OBD2 will connect to your orange, your both of your two orange wires of your PCM. So you're going to splice all these together. And then your grounds, your two grounds from W2 will go to your two grounds on your PCM. So it's pretty easy. You match your black from here to your black to your OBD2. Your purple goes to your your green, and then your orange goes to your orange. Now, if you're if you're not doing the power and ignition switches, you would connect your constant and your switch power all in one connection to your orange wire. So what that means is. on your P your PCM you're going to take two orange wires your two pink wires you can combine these with your orange wire from your OBD2 and then you're just going to run all all these wires into one cable into the power of your uh, this port here so if you've seen other people, some people just skip the whole switch and they just plug from the power directly into their orange and pink wires. And then of course your black ground goes to your ground wire and then your green from the PCM will go to your purple on your OBD2. So I mean that's basically it. Orange and pink is your power, uh, black is your ground, purple and green is your data, your serial data cable from the OBD2 to your PCM. Uh, I'm not going to show you the actual soldering of the wires in this video because it's getting kind of lengthy, but I'll show you the uh, finished product in another video. But once you have these all soldered together um, on this, like I said, I'm going to put on my A is probably going to be my power, my constant power, which would be my orange wires. My B will be my switch power, which would be my pink. And then, you know, my A, B, and C, so will be my power wires. And then I have my DC power. So hopefully I explained that um, good for you. Um, in the next video, or in, in another video, I'll show you the actual finished product of me having it all together. And I left out the most important part of this whole situation. So once you take your um, PCM and connect it to your, to, like your connector to your PCM, you're missing one vital part, one vital part. Your HP tuner. 
This is what's gonna plug into your OBD2 connection. So as you can see, this is the new MPV i2 HP tuner. Now, the old version is about $700. This thing runs about three to $400. So this is a lot more affordable than the, uh, pro, the old pro tuner. They will be releasing a pro version of this HP tuner on the new one, but I believe it's not out as far as this video has been released. So I went and picked up just the uh, MP MPVI 2 HP tuner uh, to flash my um, flash and tune my PCMs on my LS walk. So in the next video, um, once I have this all connected, I'll show you this working. Um, I still have to install it and register myself, but I hope this video helped you guys on the wiring to make your own bench harness at home. Um, like I said, some of this stuff isn't necessary. You can, whatever you have laying around, you can make your own switch box, your own toggle switches. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube about it. But I hope you liked the video. Remember to like the video, comment, definitely subscribe, share if you want. Peace.